Hey guys, welcome back. So, being a martial artist myself, I thought it'd be cool to make a video on a few of the martial art styles that are out there and a bit of a background of them. So, yeah, I won't, like I always say, I won't waste your time. So, here we go 10 awesome martial art styles. Number one, we have karate. Karate is known as an empty hand fighting style and was first introduced in Japan in 1917 by Kuchin Funakushi in Kyoto. Karate has four main styles known as Gojuru, Shituru, Shotugan, as well as Waduru. It is also known as Bushido, Way of the Samurai, because the white gi comes from the time of the samurai when they wore the white gi under the armor as they went into battle. Karate is a really good style if you want to learn how to defend yourself and also get a really good workout. <laughs> and trust me, I speak from experience when I say you get a good workout out of it because these things, they get hot. You see how long these sleeves are? These things get hot. They might be white, but that doesn't stop the heat from almost killing your ass. Mm -hmm. No, but seriously, it's a great style and it's studied all over the world. So, yeah, if you'd like to try out karate, Go for gold. And then you can only get good out of it. So, yeah. And come on. Why not learn how to defend yourself? You're going to need it someday. Damn. At number two, we have Taekwondo. Taekwondo translates into the way of the foot and fist. Where Tai means foot, Kwan means fist, and Do means way of. The name Taekwondo has only been used since 1955. But the history of Taekwondo dates back 2,300 years in Korea. To understand Taekwondo it is said that you need to understand the history of Korea and how Taekwondo came to be. And seriously have you seen these Taekwondo guys fight? They will kick your head off your body. These guys are crazy fast fighters and yeah I wouldn't I wouldn't mess with these guys. Uh uh. Nope. I mean look at that. I can take punishment, but whew, nothing can stop that. Mm -mm. At number three, we have ninjutsu. Ninjutsu was developed as a way of life for the Japanese people, opposed to the samurai class of that day. The ninjutsu fighters are known for their cat-like stealth and reflexes, and this skill was noticed in the Japanese Civil War of the 13th to the 16th century. Ninjutsu was first brought to the modern world by the 33rd Grand Master Takumatsu and then was brought to the Western world in 1970 with the help of the 34th Grand Master Dr. Hatsuma who is seen as the living treasure in Japan. So if you think you got what it takes to be a ninja then Ninjutsu is just a style for you. At number 4 we have Judo. Judo was founded by Master Jigoro Kano and in 1882 he did a comprehensive study of all the ancient self-defense forms and took the best out of these forms and formed Kodokan Judo. This style was seen as an excellent style when the Judo fighters defeated the Jiu-Jitsu athletes at the Police Jiu-Jitsu Contest. At number 5 we have MMA. MMA is one of the biggest martial arts growing sports in the world at the moment and it consists of the UFC and the EFC being the most popular of the um, competitions that the fighters take part in and it's where fighters from all around the world and the best of the best compete with all the different styles. Now MMA is set to have started with Bruce Lee as Dana White said Bruce Lee was the first to practice MMA because of Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do that consisted of boxing, Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, Kung Fu and all the other styles now in my personal opinion I think Bruce Lee was the godfather and the father of MMA I don't care what any of the haters say he was one of the best martial artists and he figured out that you don't just stick to one style you adapt and learn and you use all the styles around you so MMA is a great sport I encourage anyone to go and practice MMA if you want a good workout if you want to learn how to defend yourself go go for it it's a really great sport and yeah why not and come on if you train hard enough if you work hard enough then you get to fight in the octagon like all the other MMA fighters come on fighting in there like a gladiator can you imagine that feeling? Damn. 
I think it's worth the blood, sweat and tears that those guys put into it. Go MMA! At number 6 we have Krav Maga. Krav Maga is the Israeli military fighting force style. Okay, This was developed by Imi Lichtenfeld. He joined the newly formed Israeli army in 1948 and with his background of boxing, wrestling, gymnastics as well as the military training Krav Maga was formed. He also later modified it so that citizens can use it to protect themselves. But no, seriously, I've seen these Krav Maga guys in action. They are lethal. I would not mess with one of these guys in the streets. I think it's a fantastic style. I wish I could go and study it myself. Go for it. It is really, if you want to be able to defend yourself in the streets, all the other styles are exactly the same. But this thing is really hands-on, no questions asked, take down you take the guy down before you can ask any questions so yeah if you want that type of style Krav Maga is the style for you but just don't go using it on people for no reason man that's not the martial arts way damn at number seven we have kickboxing now kickboxing dates back 2000 years in Far East Asia when Muay Thai kickboxing was used as self-defense but then later became a very popular sport and it is also said that Bruce Lee, once again our great Bruce Lee, was the reason for this sport also coming into the spotlight. But seriously, have you seen Muay Thai fighters? These guys kicks are lethal. These guys kick banana trees. Can you imagine that thing hitting your leg? I would fall down and cry like a six year old girl. I'm very sorry. I'm man enough to say it. I'll cry like a little girl. Damn. At number 8 we have Aikido. Aikido was founded by Morie Oshiba and this style is known for training you how to use your opponent's weight and movement to your advantage. Now for smaller people, for women, even for men that don't think that these other face to face styles will work for them. This style is for you. It really is an effective style. I know people that do this style. It's really effective. They have thrown me that I fly and fall on my ass. And they weigh nearly like half of my weight. So this is really a good style. It's Especially if you don't like violence and you just want to know enough to get away. This is definitely the style for you. At number 9 we have Kung Fu. Now Kung Fu dates back 4,000 years and is said to be the earliest form of Chinese martial arts. There are many styles of Kung Fu, I'm not going to name them all, but to name a few, there is Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do, Dragon Kung Fu, Shaolin Kung Fu, Tai Chi, and then of course, the style we all know, especially if you're a martial artist then you know Bruce Lee, the style is, that won't be unknown to you, Wing Chun. Kung Fu fighters are known for their speed and agility and of course the one move we all know the one inch punch. If anyone can do it as good as Bruce Lee did it I wouldn't want to get punched to that. I'm quite happy just with normal normal ass punching so yeah no thanks. Then at number 10 we have Pancration. I had to put this one in here because to me it's just plain cool. Pancration has a root dating back 3000 years and the first evidence that they found of pancreation is in the 586th lyric of Orphica and can be found in the ancient poem Argonautica. Well, sorry if I'm not saying it right but I'm not Greek so... <laughs> pancreation was used by the Greek soldiers to defend their homeland in ancient times. They were taught for 23 years starting at the age of 7. They were thrown into battle and taught Pancration to defend their homeland. And come on, one of the most famous stories you all know it is the Battle of 300. Yeah, these Spartans used Pancration to defend their homeland. And if it worked for them then, who says it can't work for us now, right? It's also said that Pancration is the ancient root of all the mixed martial arts today. <laughs> is that cool or what? It started by the Spartans. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and that's it for me guys I hope you enjoyed the video and being a martial artist myself I will really encourage you to 
go and learn one of the martial arts styles it will really help you it helps with discipline it helps get things off of your daily life um, it really is a necessity in my eyes to go and learn a martial art you need to know how to protect yourself being a man or woman it doesn't matter you really should and your children send them to a martial arts school let them learn how to protect themselves it really does help with discipline and everything and it's good exercise so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the videos um please hit that big red subscribe button and the like button below make comments and i'll see you guys all here next time cheers Thank <laughs> you.